All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all honor, all praises, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh, even Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah, the only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water, or thank you to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I right, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim, all the Kwanim around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hope for elect. All right, shalom to the one third remnant that consists of men, women, and children listening and learning. All right, so all you call with the men in Valley, South Carolina. Uh, coming back with another lesson. It's going to be a quick hitter. And uh, <clears throat> just on my spirit, just. Uh, Meditating on it, and I'm probably gonna title this is no repentance for getting the uh, mob. All right, the mob that karagma, the mark of the beast, which uh, brothers, all right, know that it's the what RFID microchip. All right, and uh, so I just want to harp on that for a quick second. Go into that, so I'm just dive right into it. All right, so it's no repentance for getting the mob. So first, we got to uh, see what is the MOB, all right? What is the mark of the beast, all right? So uh, let's get Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understand count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. All right, so this is the scripture where the mark of the beast is talked about. All right, this is one of the scriptures, but this is the scripture that tells us that no man would be able to buy or sell without this mark. All right, so let's see what this mark is. All right, and uh, if you go into it, it goes, it goes into what a stamp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamp on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, thing carved, sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. All right, so the first definition: a stamp and imprinted mark. All right, and the uh, and B two, thin carved sculpture, graven work. All right, so this mark, this karagma, is something that will be imprinted in your skin. This is something that's going to pierce the skin. Okay, so that uh, uh, lets us know that what is going is something that's going to actually be inserted in your skin. It's not uh, a philosophy. It's not uh, the cell phone, all right? It's going to be something that the elites, all right, because that's who the uh, he is, the elites of Esau Edom is going to make mandatory that something be imprinted, all right, something be pierced in your skin, and it's going to have a barcode on it. And that barcode is how you get your what? The 603 score 6, your shy side stigma. All right. It says six hundred. It says uh, shy shy stigma. All right. That's how you say it in the Hebrew. All right. It says six hundred and sixty-six. The meaning of which is the basis of much vain speculation, and every barcode is going to what add up to those numbers. All right. So that's how we put that up and line that up. You see, part of speech, numeral. All right, so this this imprinted mark is going to have some a barcode on it that adds up to three hundred to six hundred and sixty six. All right. Uh, so <clears throat> so that's what is the mark of the beast. All right, and we believe that through uh, studies and faith. All right, I can go deeper into it. But you can uh, uh, go into it as best as you want, break it down as best as you want. But if someone doesn't believe 
they're not just going to believe. Okay? But the main thing I want to harp on is it's no repentance for getting this. All right? Because we know for sure that it's the uh, MO, the uh, RFID microchip, because what? You will not be able to buy and sell without uh, uh, without this mark. All right? So we know that eliminates the cell phone because what? You can still use cash now. Say if you don't uh, go in the store right now and don't have my cell phone on me, I can still purchase things. I can use cash. All right? And that's just one small example, all right? But let's harp on the topic, the no repentance for getting the MOB, all right? And this is Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, and Babylon the great is the leader of the nations and is going to be the first to implement the chip. All right, Babylon the Great is going to be the ones that started off, the ones that uh, make it mandatory first. All right, and if Babylon the Great do it, what does it say right here in the eighth verse? It says, "Call, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication." So whatever Babylon the Great do, all the nations drink of the wine, drink of that wine of her philosophies. So the other nations are going to follow in suit to what Babylon the Great is doing. All right. Verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right, so if you receive this mark, okay, if you worship the beast in his image, all right, and receive his mark, all right, you're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And when is the Lamb returning? All right, that's the second return of the Messiah, and he's coming with the chariots and the angels. So you will get that judgment of that fire and brimstone in the presence of uh, Yahweh Shab when him and the angels return. So there's no repenting from getting this uh, uh, this RFID microchip. All right? Verse 11, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. See? All right? You're going to have no rest. The smoke of your tongue is going to ascend up forever and ever. All right? You're not going to um, be uh, <laughs> be unforgiven until you come back as a, a child in the kingdom. All right? You're going to have to face a harsh death, a harsh judgment, if you bow down, all right, and worship the beast and receive his image. All right, that's how we know, all right, that it is the what? RFID microchip. Because right now, people are uh, worshiping the uh, the beast in its image. All right? That beast is what? The uh, the uh, nations, the seven head and ten horns. And who's on top of that beast? Babylon the Great. All right, and what's the image? The philosophies of... of the philosophies of Edomite supremacy, okay? Uh, verse 11 again, the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. All right? Now let's go into Mark again. And it's the same word, karagma. All right? So if you receive this mark, if you bow down and take this mark, okay, it's going to be no repentance for you. You're going to be tormented with those fire and brimstone, all right, with the thermonuclear fire and the fire in front of chariots, 
when your house returns. All right. That's how uh, we get the gist that this is it's the uh, it's the RFID microchip because other things you can repent from. All right. Say if uh, two years ago you was all into the world. All right, you uh, you loved your job, you loved your community, and this and that, okay? But you could have repented from that because that was basically you worship worshiping the image and the beast. But if you worship the image and the beast and receive that mark, there's no repentance, all right? Uh, this is Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the... the seven last plague for in them is filled up the wrath of the most high all right so these seven angels is having has the seven last plagues and in these plagues is the wrath of the heavenly father all right and i'm about to read in verse two what one of these who one of these plagues are for a special angel is sent out to uh well i'm gonna read in uh Salaki, revelation 16 that's gonna uh precept this first verse but there's a special angel that's going to pour out special judgment on those that receive the mark. All right, verse 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass having the harps of Yahweh. All right, and verse 2 is speaking about the, the elect. And the one third remnant that's going to be beamed up into the chariots, all right, because they did not take the mark, all right. They got the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark, all right, and over the number of his name, which meaning meaning what? They didn't bow down and take the RFID microchip. So the, the heavenly Father, if it's lighted for them, if they are other elect, all right, are going to be beamed up in the chariots. That's why you see the sea of glass mingled with fire. All right, because, hey, Lord willing, I'm of that number, man. But the elect is going to be in the chariots looking down on Babylon the Great. And the rest of the places burn. All right. So we want to get victory over the, uh, the, beat, the image, man, and the mark. We want to get victory over that mark. All right. So we don't be tormented with the fire and brimstone when the lamb with the when the lamb return with the angels. All right. So I'm gonna read verse one and here again, Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the heavenly father. So these seven angels having the uh the the seven last plagues, right? Okay, now let's see what one of these plagues is um uh, is uh destined for all right uh this is revelation 16 and 1 and i heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of yahweh upon earth all right so the heavenly father sanctioned these angels to pour out his wrath on earth right so let's see who uh, is about to see, receive some of this wrath. A special angel, all right, with the wrath of Yahweh is for those who receive this mark of the beast. Verse 2, And the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. You see? All right, the Heavenly Father got a special angel to pour out special judgment on those who had the mark of the beast and them which worship his image. Because if you get the mark of the beast, that's showing that you worship the image. All right? And yeah, it's going to be hard. Brothers are not saying that we're going to be macho men and just deny, deny the RFID microchip because it's going to affect your livelihood. But we're saying that we have confidence and faith, all right, in Yahweh by Shimei Avashai, all right, that we're not going to take it. We know that Yahweh by Shimei Avashai can feed us, clothe us, secure us, all right? 
So we're we're willing, all right, to bet and bank on the power, all right, and our faith in Yahweh by Shem outside rather than take and bow down to this mark, man. Because there's no repentance from receiving this mark. You know? So I hope that was edifying and was making sense. Try not to uh really go too too in because it's so much with this uh mark of the beast. You really have to dive into the words and uh, uh make a lot of examples. All right, so I hope that was edifying. No repentance for receiving the MOB. Call Halaya Halbashin Yahshai. Shalom.